Good afternoon and salam ibu betiwiku. Thousands of Indonesian students resumed protests yesterday against a new law they say has crippled the country's anti-corruption agency, with some clashing with police. Clashes between rock-throwing students and riot police broke out in the evening when police tried to disperse the protesters, ranging from high school to university students, who attempted to reach parliament after calm had largely returned to the country's capital over the past four days. The protesters, which underline Indonesia's challenge in changing its graph-ridden image, have threatened the credibility of Joko Widodo, who recently was re-elected after campaigning for clean governance. As Afghans await the results of a presidential election roiled by Taliban threats, the government used its platform at the UN General Assembly on Monday to tell insurgents to join them in peace or they will continue to fight. The militants control over roughly half the country and warn voters not to go to the polls as they could not secure them against the Taliban. In a country where a new generation of leaders has grown up in wartime, Afghanistan's national security adviser, Hamdullah Mohib, said they believe in their abilities to bring about the peace they have hoped for. China celebrated its seven decades of communist rule today with a display of power through central Beijing, showing off goose, stepping troops, new missiles and floats celebrating the country's technological prowess. The event is the country's most important of the year as China looks to project an image of confidence in the face of mounting challenges, including nearly four months of anti-government protests in the territory of Hong Kong and a bitter trade war with the United States that has weighed on its economy. President Xi Jinping gave a speech through live broadcast around the country and then reviewed a mass military parade with 15,000 troops marching through part of Tiananmen Square. Well, that is all from me. I'm Yumei Sreni Forti with Sarawak. Anytime, anywhere.